Welcome back everyone and yeah we're here with round number three. My name is Philip Schultz and I'm joined by Martin Wagner. And yeah we have an interesting player this round coming up. It's Jens Arne Mikinen from Norway. Uh, most people probably know him for having played Grand Bull in our first qualifier going 7-0 in day 2 so quite interesting and he's a player that's opting for budget decks. However this time he is going in with a really strong meta deck. Um, Pikachu Zekrom, which gained quite a lot in this new format. And yeah, he's opting for a really, really aggressive list. I believe he's playing 16 energies. And yeah, I'm pretty sure he was testing um, Pikachu with Todd. Todd, however, very unfortunately missed the tournament check-in. So Todd is not playing today. Um, but yeah, Jens is playing the same deck that Todd had submitted. So... Maybe there are slight changes, but yeah, he's rocking that and I'm really excited to see how well it goes with those new additions of Speed, speed Energy and Boltund V and yeah, it's looking like a really strong archetype right now. Yeah, Picarom definitely looks like a tier, absolute tier 1 deck. Just uh, the amount of possibilities that the new cards uh, give you are insane and um, yeah, Boltund being able to accelerate energy and also hit for upwards of like 250 damage very easily um, is just insane. So yeah, the combo deck just got uh, way, way stronger. And he's playing against uh, Alessandro Cremascoli, which uh, probably a lot of people also know. And Alessandro recognized the strength of Pika as well, because he's on it too. As we just saw, the two lightnings get discarded there of the electromagnetic radar. Yeah, Alessandro, one of our featured content creators, a Catapai. I believe he's streaming over on YouTube as well. So if you are interested in his side of the game, you can check that out um, as well, maybe simultaneously, simultaneously to our stream. And yeah, of course, he's an amazing player, mostly known for control decks, but I know that this format he's been complaining a lot about Marnie's ruining his control decks. So uh, yeah, he's going uh, to bring um, a much more aggressive deck instead and yeah i'm really interested to see how it will work out for him he already got himself a pikachu zekrom and an energy so that's already a decent start but going yeah. first in this matchup can be pretty tricky because yeah if jens gets a great opening he might easily get the turn one full blitz and that way he could be in for oh uh, yeah he could be in for a great start yeah there we see um the speed lightning just drawing some extra cards i um i think it's also like in this situation it's really difficult because you can just discard this hand but you don't want to leave the thunder mountain in play if you're not guaranteed like a full blitz so maybe you can just go um or maybe you'd play the thunder mountain anyway and just go for attack with bolt hunt to accelerate energy but seems like jens just wants to draw some extra cards Going for the data change, going for the turn one full blitz makes a lot of sense. Just needs the Coco Prism, uh, which the Falkner bear basically guarantees. Yep. Oh, and the switching card. Of yeah, course, he, but he already that. got it. So basically, if, if the Coco is not priced, Jens is in for a great opening. Yep. And that's what he's going for. Quick ball. Yeah, he will be able to use Coco Pro full effect and get the turn one full blitz. So an amazing start here. He also got an electro power, so he can take the knockout here on the um, Elder Goss V and go up two prizes turn one. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> just the strength of Picorom, just showing once again, right? If you're able to hit for 180 and accelerate energy, um, it's just so crazy. And <laughs> can we see the wave late coming out from <laughs> Alessandro? Oh, so you have a good deck. Yeah, see. And yeah, yeah, also the ride through. Yeah, this spot is just amazing and it's looking so rough for Alessandro already. It's incredible. Yes. Next turn, Jens just needs a switch and then he can. Yeah, and, or like use for zero. Oh, ah, but he probably wants to use the tender, so he doesn't have everything as of now. Because he doesn't have a support on his hand. But yeah, if he just manages to get a switching card and an energy, he can also Jinx attack, take out the Pika, go down to a single price while having seven energies in play. So a commanding spot for Jens. 
Yeah, I really like the inclusion of Boltan because if even if you if one of your tag teams gets knocked out, Boltan does just such an amazing backup attacker in my opinion. Right, you have your two like absolutely great attackers and your two tag teams, but sometimes um, just don't wanna bench two two uh, two three prizes, and Boltan gives the stack just so much flexibility and so much more. Uh, possibilities. You even can forego the turn one full blitz, just accelerate with bolt hunt and then go for turn two tag bolt without even having to full blitz uh, yep. once. Such an amazing secondary secondary attacker. Um, and yeah, it also being able to consistently deal such high amounts of damage. Um, of like, um, of course, right now it would be one energy short of doing um, something meaningful because it can only reach two ten two twenty. But of course, Jens can also couple it with an electro power. Uh, yeah, but right now Jens doesn't have an energy yet, so he might go for Elder Ghost and just get him. Uh, yeah, just get a Volkner to get like energy and electro power to yeah. uh, energy and switch. I mean to get the guaranteed knockout with. Right, choose Jeeks attack or go for Boltund and take the one shot with that. You don't. You have so many options. You don't even know where, like, where to go. There is the and also yeah. Boltund just attacking with the Bolt Storm for one energy when the Thundermon is in place. Absolutely insane. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's what Ian's going for. Makes makes a lot of sense. Conserving his Jeeks attack is of course extremely powerful in this Boltund just <laughs> attack, attacking for a single energy. And being like, yeah, fifty damage, just like that. Goodbye. <laughs> Turn two. <laughs> it's, it's so crazy. Yeah, this. Yeah, we really see why this deck. This deck seems to be <laughs> extremely popular in this tournament, and it's just looking so strong. Like turn two, Jens is taking five prizes, and he's doing two hundred fifty for single energy, which is just <laughs> absolutely crazy. Yeah, I expect a lot of Pika on the on like the top tables and in day two. So if you like the yellow boys, then uh, yeah, you are you're welcome. And there we see stamp to one. That's absolutely necessary to or like the stamp get used, uh, get searched yeah, and used. That's absolutely necessary if you want to give yourself any chance of coming back. But um, for sure, I don't really see like a follow up play because there's so many backup attackers, right? The um. Yeah, I mean, it's just I think generally only the... down to one switch. So if you get paralyzed, it could be kind of sticky to get out of there. But yeah, exactly. I was about to say what Alessandro probably wants to do is to not take immediate knockouts and just like paralyze the Bolton and try to paralyze the Raichu next turn and then set up a tech bolt for six prizes. So just like best thing, of course, is if he can target the Raichu immediately and then set up a Pika and then tech switch your energies over to Pika and get a tech bolt. But uh, yeah, he can also just paralyze the bolt on here for one turn and then yeah, start setting up a second Pika afterwards. Yeah, there we see it, just the tandem shock. Step to one plus paralysis is still, re still really strong. Yep. You also have that option, right? You like. You can hit for a lot of damage, you can do stuff, a uh, place like this, where you stamp and paralyze. Exactly. So you have like a little bit of defensive tools as well. And um, yeah, you're so aggressive and, yeah. and so fast. So yeah, it's just just insane. There we see the yeah. second Pika coming out. Yeah, um, Alessandro definitely, yeah, he already has his tech switch gone, which is unfortunate for him. Uh, he needs switch here t and he needs energies on his um, Pika. So he needs quite a bit, and then he will need some energy switches. But with Thunder Mountain being, but yeah, he hasn't used a single energy switch yet. So here, uh, uh, okay, he has used one. So let's see how many he has left. But yeah, um, being able to paralyze Jens while not taking knockouts is amazing because once you take a knockout, it means that Jens will have access to the energy X because of the bench space, which is definitely not what you want. So you just want to paralyze him and then win with tech bolt in one turn because that works best to lock him out of the game for as long as possible. Yeah, but there we see the switch yeah. as well. Really, that's the the important piece that enables the whole combo this turn. Um, being able to paralyze again back to back is uh, is just so great. Yeah. And then there we see paralysis and also the energy switch already so this pika yep. is becoming really threatening uh, really soon yeah for sure and alessandro's already down to 14 deck cards so quite a 
Uh, yeah. Oh, and we asked for Professor's research yes. for Jens. So if he's able to find his last switch, that could be the game. No, not that and, easy, oh, right? Oh, yeah, there, there it is. is. <laughs> so yeah, just switch, retreat, energy. It. Oh, he doesn't have a free retreat yet. So uh, does he have... How many retreats does Boltman have? I think it's two, right? Yeah, I think so too. And like so... the Pika has three. So he doesn't have a retreater right now. So he has to go for... Bolton, but uh, is that enough? It's three. Yeah, that should be enough. Three, seven. Yeah, that's, that's definitely enough. Yeah, we're probably also calculating. <laughs> yeah, it's like he, he played double electro power, I think. So yeah. yeah, it's like 300. And yeah, that's the game. 310 damage from the Bolton B, just closing out the match. Ripping yeah. the last switch after the reset from the top. So. Yeah, sometimes yeah, sure. uh, you just do it like that, right? Yeah, but even though it doesn't look like it, it was kind of a close game because Alessandro. Yeah, really close. Yeah, I was I was able to check out Alessandro's list, and he plays three energy switch, so he still had one in deck, and he already had um, three energies on his Pika right now. So if he got like one more energy in the next turn and his last energy switch, which would have been likely because he had like ten cards left in his deck, only yeah. then he was able to use Tech Bolt. So. Uh, yeah, so he would have been able to use Tech Bolt for the game, and so we see, really see the strength of Pika being on the one side able to go for such aggressive plays like Jens and just um, get yeah a commanding start and take the game quickly, but also having like the versatility of attacks like Tandem Shock and the option to take multiple prizes, uh, multiple knockouts in one turn with Tech Bolt, giving Alessandro the, uh, yeah the possibility to almost make a comeback after that amazing start from Jens. So. Yeah, really well played from Alessandro as well to yep. give himself the option to come back. Seeing the line of play, mm -hmm. um, like the probably the only one that uh, leads you to victory in that scenario, so really well played. Yep, very, um, very short game, but very cool game in my opinion. I liked it. And yeah, yeah we will go course. Yeah, we will go to a quick break and hopefully we will be back with another round, uh, with another game from this round, I believe at this point. Our pools are somewhat staggered, so we might be able to catch another pool. So don't go anywhere and we will be back as soon as possible. 